everyone. Welcome in to Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah, and it's time for tea. Before we get drinking with the tea and everything, I want to let you know, this gorgeous scarf that I'm wearing right now, no, I did not make it. It's knitted. Knitting is magic, and this was made by my beautiful friend Gina at Knitting Turnpike. Uh, link up there because she's awesome and it's gorgeous. I did make the scrunchie though. Yeah, I can do that. I can't do this. Let's be real. Um, today's tea is of course from my Sips by subscription box. No affiliation or anything. I pay for this myself. Comes in a neat little box. I get four teas per month. This came from January's box. This one is called Midnight Pumpkin and it is a loose tea. And Okay, I've got it sealed up now, but when I first opened it, I was like, whoa, smelled so good. Midnight Pumpkin is not just pumpkin, nay, nay. It says on it, rooibos, blueberry, and pumpkin. Yeah, yummy stuff. And they send you a personalized card every month, uh, made for Deborah, see that? And um, it tells you about the tea. It makes it a little easier to read than on those little packets usually. This is uh, by Trader Nick's Tea says use one teaspoon per eight ounces of water, 212 degrees Fahrenheit, so they want it boiling. And it says steep five plus minute. On the packet here, it says five to eight minutes. I'm using a slightly larger mug, so I'm going for about 10. You'll hear the timer go off shortly um, because I started it before I started recording. You know, time management. This is caffeine free though. In there, it says rooibos, honeydew melon cubes, apple, or apple flavor, can't tell where the punctuation is there, you know. Uh, blueberries, nettle leaves, pumpkin cubes, sunflower blossoms, and cornflower petals. All I can tell you is it smells amazing. Uh, creamy rooibos, pumpkin and blueberry for a silky soft taste. Caffeine free, so no need to worry about that midnight spell. Kick off your glass slippers and sip happily ever after. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. It does smell nice though. Uh, when I first taste it, I am going to taste it um, with, no, there's the beep. I can technically get this on out of here now. Um, I can taste, I'm gonna taste it with no sweetener and then I will probably add some of my stevia sweetener. And then after that, I will taste it with some of my sugar-free French vanilla because I find that vanilla and creaminess makes almost every tea, okay, maybe not herbals, but almost every tea just taste delightfully more delightful. Oh, this is my little kitty cat um, clothespin, or peg as some people call them. And there's no tag on my little tea bag. Sips by gives you uh, disposable tea bags, plus they enclose it in a reusable muslin tea bag that you can take out and wash. So, using that. I did not have the top of this sealed very well, so I do have a little tea debris in my tea, but that happens with loose tea. So, I'm not going to squeeze it, I'm just going to let everything kind of drip off of it. By the way, my mug today, brought to you by me, I believe this came from Pop Shelf. I think my cat was right about you. It has a lid where you can use this as a sort of a travel mug, but it's ceramic, so it's kind of heavy. Uh, but I get being ceramic, it's going to keep things quite warm for a while. And it's white on the inside, despite being black on the outside. Let's take a spoonful so maybe you can get an idea of the color. It is a light tea color. Now, mind you, this has been steeping almost 11 minutes. And if you've been here before, you know, super hot water and anything like that just burns me to a crisp and I'm you know unable to function with life after that and also when I try to slurp it sometimes I inhale it and I cough my brains out just a little about me mm-hmm okay oh it smells wonderful I could see drinking this just from the smell of it every evening it's just got a wonderful delightful sweet smell to it probably from the apples and such and the melons okay i am getting those hints of <clears throat> excuse me of those fruits in there i 
I kind of wish, you know what? I wish that this was in a more robust tea base, quite honestly. Let's add some sweetener, because a lot of times that changes the characteristics completely. A little stevia up in there on my little plate. No, I'm not just tossing this stuff on a table. I got a plate down here. And I'm a klutz, but I'm not dumb. All right. Yeah. Definitely put a little sweetener in this. A little honey. I use the stevia. If you put sugar, put a little sugar in it. I mean, don't load it down with like eight tons of it. But that little bit of sweetness really brought out some of the other notes. I'm not getting pumpkin out of it, nor am I getting pumpkin spice, if y'all are worried about that. I'm also not really getting blueberry. That's weird. This is blueberry and pumpkin. Not really getting blueberry out of it. Not really getting pumpkin out of it. But they said they're pumpkin chunks. But most of what we taste uh, when we're thinking pumpkin, at least here in the U.S., I don't know about any place else, is pumpkin spice. So that's probably why. Um, because pumpkins are just a wonderful, wonderful vegetable. Um, all right. I'm going to add a little of this. Not only will it uh, give me a little vanilla flavor, it'll cool it off a bit too. Make sure I'm not adding too much. Let's we'll see what I'm doing here. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Little bits of cloudy creaminess in there. Just like I thought. Vanilla makes everything nice. <laughs> mm. I'm always trying to try new teas, teas that I haven't had before. I would not have gone and just picked this up on a whim and bought it because I don't generally go buy loose teas. That's one reason I really like um, my Sips by subscription because I told you can tell them not to send you loose teas. I said, send me all the things. I want to try everything, so y'all just pick it. And you can also choose your caffeine level. I probably need the caffeine today, but this one doesn't have any of that. So maybe later I'll have another cup. Maybe a cup of my super Irish breakfast that I had <laughs> in one of my earlier boxes. And that actually said very high caffeine. And yeah, I had a cup the other day and I was like, wah, 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 wah. yeah. You actually get four, if you're getting tea bags, you get four tea bags uh, per box of the same flavor. This should technically make four cups, but since I use a larger cup, I use a little bit more, so it'll probably make three. But that's how that usually works with these. And in this box, I had three loose and one bag. The one bag you may have seen last week, and that was this one. Delightful. But this is quite yummy. Kind of was wishing for more blueberry, though. Maybe I was wishing for a little pumpkin spice. Who knows? Because of the pumpkin. But. Is yummy. Anyway. So what do you think of this week's mug? I'm surprised my cat isn't in here right now. Because I was talking about cat. And I heard him meowing in the other room. But he didn't come in. Um, what do you, th do you think you would try this tea? All that interesting stuff in there. You don't taste a lot of that individually. It kind of blends to make just one cohesive flavor. And the rooibos tea is actually quite nice. Um, I wouldn't mind having more rooibos teas in my tea collection. Looking forward to next month's box. I haven't gotten it yet, which I'm not sure why, but it just has not arrived. Um, and I will keep on doing this as long as there are teas in the world to taste. And we all know there are plenty of teas in the world to taste. So come back and have some tea with me because there's always some time for tea. See y'all soon.